So I'm in recovery. I'm in recovery from that, that obsession that I think every single man with a YouTube account goes through. EDC, everyday carry. It's just fascinating. It gives you such a glimpse into people's perspective. You've got everybody from the, the Matt Diavellas of this world, but they're totally minimalist EDC. And then you've got the guy who's ready for World War III and the zombie apocalypse starting the same day. And I think there's, there's value in, in both perspectives. Certainly, maybe the guys who are a little bit more, more heavy on the EDC, you can find interesting ways of doing things or interesting solutions to problems that you maybe have day to day, but you hadn't considered this particular solution. And then the, the minimalist way, the, the, the flip side of that is like, you're asking yourself like, do I really need the stuff that I'm carrying every single day? But part of the recovery, I think, is to just evolve your own. And it's evolved into three distinct levels. Level one is part of level two, which is part of level three. And whichever level I, I opt for that day completely depends on what I'm doing that day. Level one really is an EDC. That stuff that I just never leave the home without. Level two, that is a MDC, a most day carry. And level three, that is an O-C-I-I-R-H-T. Only carry if I really have to. This is level one. And the one rule about level one is it's got to fit either in my pockets and it has to fit in my pockets without looking like I've been shoplifting. And it breaks down like this. Wallet, a leather wallet, a natural veg tanned leather wallet because I love patina. This one from Wrench Needle, it used to look like this. Like seriously, that is the, the same wallet. But yeah, it is going to, or it is in the process of being replaced by this. This is another leather, natural veg tan leather wallet from Show Your Hem. More about this in another video, but I haven't quite let go of this one yet. I'm, I'm sentimental. But I like a simple wallet. It's got some space for some cards. It's got some space for some cash. There's actually some cash in there. I would love to be able to reduce the amount of cards that I've got, but um, half a dozen to eight is about the minimum I could get. And I'd love to increase the amount of cash I, I have in the wallet, but um, I spend it all on John's. Next up, an unfortunate necessity of modern living, a phone. This is an iPhone. More than that, I don't really care. I, I'm telling you guys, I'm really not a tech person. On the phone, it's got a screen protector, it's got a case because I'm clumsy, and that's about it for the phone. Now, along with the phone, this is the, the one piece of tech that I've been amazingly surprised how much I've been into and how useful it is, and that is, is these little things here, these, these AirPods. Seriously guys, if you've got an iPhone, just don't fuck around, just, just go for a pair of AirPods. They are so, so good. A knife, cause you know. Well, sometimes you gotta cut a motherfucker. A box, Lawrence, a box. Now, hear me out with this, okay? Cause this is very, very important. Over here in Germany, this is just a very, very handy tool for opening boxes, for cutting string, whatever. Over in the UK, where we can't even be trusted with glass beer glasses anymore, this is a three-year jail sentence. This particular one is an Otter Messer. The blade is extremely, extremely good. It holds an edge very, very well. It's uh, stainless steel. Unfortunately, the handle is not stainless steel and it rusts, which means that, yeah, okay, the, the blade comes out, uh, the corkscrew still comes out, but the screwdriver and bottle opener here Ironically, you need a screwdriver to open the screwdriver. So yeah, that's, that's not the best, but still this is one of the best gifts I've ever, ever received. It's just so, so useful. And I did have a little like pouch for this to go in made by Seth from Adams of Yorkshire, but I've lost it. Actually, I haven't lost it. It's, it's somewhere in the flat. I've looked everywhere apart from the place that it is. This isn't the biggest apartment, it's just, it's lurking somewhere. You do need a sheath with this because the, the handle is not exactly ergonomic for one thing and it's got a lot of sharp edges on it and it's just wearing through pocket bags like faster than you'd ever imagine. 
So Seth, I am probably going to be hitting you up for another one, mate. Next up, we have a lighter. It's just always a good idea to have a light. Even if you don't smoke, it's always a good idea to have a way to start a fire. Not a pyromaniac, I promise you. This is a Zippo, I've had it for 20 years, or at least I've had the case for 20 years. It's, it's really, really worth investing in the classics. The classics are classics for a reason. They really, really last. Recently though, I upgraded to, to a butane insert. This is just, this makes it a lot more practical. With this, you don't have to fill it up every second day. Now, along with being able to set fire to things and cut things, you should also have a way to write things down. It is extremely easy to find something to write on these days, but it's not so easy to find something to write with. So, I always have a pen with me. And honestly, I think the choice of pen is pretty important. I think it says more about the person nowadays than either the shoes that they're wearing or the watch that they're wearing. I think somebody who's carrying a nice pen with them, it speaks to something about their personality. This one here is a Kaveco, and it is the best pen that I've come across to date. I've tried a bunch. I, my last one that I tried was a Mont Blanc. It didn't last the pace. It broke pretty quickly. This one is solid brass. A tank could run over this, and then afterwards you could write an angry note to the tank driver, presuming that this wasn't in your pocket as it was being run over. Right, next up we have the most hated part of my EDC. And this is just something that happens because Germany refuses to join the modern world and have car payments everywhere. You have to pay with cash, so you always end up with a big pile of loose change in your pocket. I've not found a good solution to storing this stuff. It just gets stored in one of my pockets. It piles up, it ends up going in a bowl and just sitting there. I must have a fortune in my apartment of this stuff, but yeah, it's, it is part of the EDC. Then we have a watch, which I know, I know it is completely superfluous in today's day and age, but there's just something about having a mechanical watch on your wrist. I mean, I could easily check the time on my phone, or I could even ask Siri what time it was with my AirPods, but I just, I just like this. I mean, this is really nothing special. It's a, it's a bit of a shame statement, actually. It's one of these homage watches from a brand called Steinhardt. It's a Folex, a fake Rolex. I mean, one day I will be one of these douchebags that does get a Rolex, but for now, I'm pretty happy with this. It's a decent watch, honestly. It's got Swiss ETA movement. It's very, very solid. It keeps the time very well. And if I was looking for a watch nowadays, I know better alternatives than this, but up until now, this will do. Last, we've got the rings, three of them. This one here, this is from Fine Light Trading, which is sadly no longer trading. I've got two rings from Fine Light Trading. I don't wear the, the bigger one. I guess some of you guys will have seen that in, in other videos. It's a big, huge, chunky ring. And during the summertime, with my, my fingers swelling up with the heat, it's, it's just a bit too tight. So in the summertime, I replace it with this. This is from Clocks and Colors. Super beautiful ring with a tiger eye stone, I believe that is insert in there. I uh, really like this. It's a bit thinner, a bit lighter, so better for the summer. And then we have this here, signet ring with the sig, oh. we've got the signet ring with the CRD logo on it. Two of these were made up by the guys at 877 workshop in Hamburg for Daniel and I. And yeah, I, guys, I really, really appreciate you making this up. It means really a lot. Okay, there's a couple of things actually that I just thought about here that I do carry on an everyday basis these days. That's a mask and hand sanitizer, because you just kind of have to these days. Right, so that is level one. Let's move on to level two. Level two are things that I maybe don't need every day, but they are good to have. And the one rule for level two, is they've all got to fit in here. Now, I resisted having one of these for years, for years, or at least I resisted the whole sort of bum bag worn across the chest fashion. Because most of the time these things are the kind of thing you get free with petrol. They're pretty useless. You may as well just put the stuff in your pockets. But this, this is big enough to really carry some essential things. It's got some decent sized pockets with some decent sized pockets in the decent sized pockets. It's also got this nice big thick strap. 
and it's not an obnoxious colour. And into those decent sized pockets, or pockets within the decent sized pockets, goes the case for my AirPods. I don't really feel it necessary to carry this around all the time in my pockets, and so most of the time it just gets left in here. Then we have a journal. This one is from Leuchtturm 1917. It's one of the ones with the little dots. I do something that's kind of like a, a bullet journal. I know, I know, be more obvious, beer boy. But that is just the, the best method that I've found to, to keep track of everything that goes with my OCD and my brain damage. I did try a bunch. I tried moleskin, uh, but this, like really log term, do a super good job and it's the best one that I've found for my needs. Then I have this little foldable tote bag thing. And yeah, you're passing the supermarket, you're needing some groceries, you may as well just like have one of these instead of buying a plastic bag. This is fantastic. It costs four bucks and it's really one of the most practical purchases I've made in a long time. And now I've got to fold it back up again. See, it packs down just super, super small. Get in there. Super, super small. Then bike lights, which are pretty much disposable given how often these get stolen in Berlin, but it's very, very important to be safe. There's something missing here. Glasses case, glasses case, which has sunglasses in them, which should actually be part of the EDC, I guess. Right, glasses case, whatever. This is tough, solid. I got it with a pair of Ace and Tate, this pair of Ace and Tate glasses a few years ago. It fits both my glasses and my sunglasses in it, but usually I'm wearing one or the other. So yeah, this is very practical. The sunglasses themselves are a pair of Ray-Ban Wayfarers in a dark tortoiseshell. They're just, they're such a good go-to. Remember what I said about buying the classics with the lighter? Also, buy the classics when it comes to sunglasses. And the glasses, which are probably part of my EDC, or at least they should be because I'm almost blind. These are from, yeah, Ace and Tate, the place that I got the glasses case from. Chicken and egg. I've also got another pair that you guys always ask about whenever I'm wearing them. Uh, very dirty, but... Also from Mason Tate and probably closer to my prescription just now. I should wear these more often. Uh, but they're going back in the drawer because editing, consistency. Then I have this, my little Sony RX100 Mark 7. This is a relatively new addition to the MDC because I'm, I'm trying to, to take more pictures and I'm trying to film more stuff outside. And this is an excellent, excellent little camera. Actually, arguably it's better than the one I'm filming on right now. So this fits in there very, very nicely. Most of this, if it doesn't get fitted on my body, like the rings, like the watch, like the glasses, most of this just goes in here. The EDC becomes part of the, the MDC because it's just easier to carry that way. Guess he's feeling lonely right about now, but um, your day will come. I mean, just look at that. That is a very, very handy, very practical little package right there. What is not practical is my only carry if I really have to. Now, only carry if I really have to are things that really are essential to my everyday life, but they are things that I really do not like to carry around with me. It's Basically, my computer and all its accompanying bits and pieces. It doesn't look like much, but it's heavy, it's expensive, and I'm terrified to lose it or spill coffee on it. Both are quite likely. Now, the OCIRRHT goes into this. This is an archival clothing rucksack, and it's the best rucksack that was ever, ever made. Punked. You guys, or you gorping guys, you can keep your fancy tech wear stuff. Give me some wax cotton canvas, give me some leather straps. This has been with me for years, for years. It's been with me for so long that I think I've always had it. And it keeps 
getting better with age. And it's just, I don't see this. I, I don't see myself ever needing to replace this unless it gets stolen or coffee spilled in it. And into the rucksack goes my MacBook Pro something, something, something inches, something. As I said, I really don't care about tech. This works extremely, extremely well. And that's all I'm looking for from a computer. So that goes in there. Then I have a little pouch to organize all the cables I need. I say organize to store all the cables I need because it's impossible to organize cables. You've got them all nicely like wound up, like individual, you put them in here and then they knit themselves into something that looks like an iron sweater. I mean, like this just becomes a homogenous lump of cables, no matter what you do. So that goes in there and it gets untangled whenever I need to. It goes in there, then the charging brick, just you have to. All of my MDC will go into the OCIRRHT distributed around the few pockets that I have in this rucksack. And there we have it, my three levels of EDC. Now, normally I would say that, that these products would be evolving, but they're really not. I seem to have distilled it down to the best possible version of whatever it might be. I, I mean, I, I don't see myself replacing much of anything here unless I lose it, which is pretty likely, or break it, which is also pretty likely. But other than that, I don't really see myself changing them out. If you want to check any of these products out, I've left links to the ones that are still available down in the description. Unfortunately, things like archival clothing, they're no longer running. So sadly, you can't get these rucksacks. I'm going to have a look around and see if you can find uh, good alternatives and I'll leave links to, to those down in the description. For all of these products, I would say they are a good investment, like really. And some of them, they won't break the bank and it's really worth investing in these, these classics because they, they will last the distance. They are gonna be good investments for the long run. But I'd be super curious if you guys have got any alternatives to the products that I've got here. If you think there's something better. You know what, I'm looking for a new knife. I, that one is, is fantastic. It's got a lot of sentimental value because it was given to me by a friend but I think I'm going to have to replace that just out of sheer practical reasons. As I said, the, the handle's rusting up a little bit. So I'm looking for some recommendations for those. Be great if we could have one that was available in Europe, available in Germany. But yeah, I'm looking forward to your input on that. I'm looking forward to your input on all of these things. So yeah, just leave me a comment in the description below. And as you're on your way down there, you guys know what I'm about to say because I say the same thing most weeks you're gonna be passing that like button, you're gonna be passing that subscribe button. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, that really does help out the channel. And if you're into denim, if you're into menswear, if you're into this kind of, this kind of stuff, then consider hitting that subscribe button because that's what I talk about once, twice a week-ish. So I think it's an MDC kind of day. I'm just about to take my girl out for some lunch. And I hope all of you guys out there are happy. I hope you're healthy. Hope you're taking care of yourselves, hope you're taking care of each other, and I'm gonna see you in the next video.